Hi, I'm Whitney and this is Trent and we are building off grid in Joshua Tree. My husband and I um, purchased land in Joshua Tree, California high desert and we are building off grid in it. We ordered a yurt um, from Pacific Yurts. You can go check out their website. We'll link it below. Um, it will be ready in July and you can come along with us on this journey of what it's like to live in the desert in our camper until our yurt's ready and what it's like for us to put up our yurt and build everything. So by ourselves. Completely by ourselves. So yeah, until our yurt is built, we're gonna take you through the whole pl uh, platform building process. Um, layouts. From, from layouts from the ground up, literally. Pathways, stone pathways. Um, we're gonna make it completely self-sustainable as far as um, reusing our water and doing home biogas and uh, solar so that we can be completely self-sustainable. So yeah, that's our journey. And now we'll show you the property. Now we will show you the rest of the property. As you can see, it's a very open, beautiful land. We have 2.3 acres of it. And the rest is BLM land, um, recreational use. Beautiful piece of property located. Joshua Trees right over there. The National Park and the town's right down through there. And over here is where we will be putting our yurt. On this side of the property. And, um... We flagged out this area over here to see how big our yurt would look, but this isn't actually where we're gonna put it. It's actually, we decided to move it forward. 15, 20 feet this way. Yeah, about 15 and 20 feet this way, so it aligns up where our porch will come right off into our driveway here. But as you can see with these flags, we have a diameter layout that we've got here of roughly like what the size feet. will be. Our yurt is gonna be a 30 foot yurt. We're gonna be building a loft in it. So yeah. And as you can see, just amazing open views out here. And this is why we chose it and we really love Joshua Tree and the hippie uh, vibe that you get from the town and the people living around here. It's just a very uh, spiritual place. And that's why we decided this is where we wanted to call home. And we wanted to build a non-conventional house in order to be friendly to uh, Mother Earth. As you can also see, there's old cans out here. And you'll find things like that out here that will literally be preserved in the desert from uh, way back in the day, 1930s, 1920s stuff. And the high desert heat just kind of preserves everything and doesn't cause as much rust or breakdown in um, artifacts and things that are out here. While we wait for our yurt to be uh, made and put together, we are staying out here in our camper. It is a gray wolf. And we had um, Usenet Wi-Fi installed in the meantime since we will be living in it until July, until we go pick up our yurt in Oregon and bring it back here to build. Um, we did also equip the camper with, um, with solar completely. And you can see, here's our battery bank that we have. And our solar panels are on top and we installed that ourselves in order to live out here off grid for X amount of months until our year is ready. And we have our generator to run our power tools and any um, backup that our solar um, batteries might drain at night if we're using excessive power and we might need to give them a little boost. So we have the generator here for that. We have um, the tank here that we dump our tanks into and then we take it to the landfill to be dumped along with our trash. Um, we just pay a member fee and then you can go to the local dump to dispose of everything. Here's our five 
um, jugs of water that we use. We go into town and we use the glacier water fillers to just fill these up. We pay like a dollar, what is it, a dollar thirty? Yeah, like a dollar thirty to fill one up, and we fill five up at a time, and that will last us roughly a week or more. Um, we've learned to be very conservative with our water out here in the meantime, and then we get the water into our tank from the jugs just by using a little um, hand pump tool that you can get at Tractor Supply. A hand siphon um, it was like $30 or something but it pumps it from the jugs into our um, tank over there battery powered battery powered, battery powered. <laughs> we have our uh, dogs out here with us and our cat cornbread too so we have the fence set up for them to come out and play and all this beautiful open land to run on so that is our rundown of our um, property and plans. Um, we're going to be documenting everything from this point on moving forward, um, even just daily life leading up to um, getting our yurt and going to go get it and all of that will be documenting the process. So if you're interested in building off grid in the high desert in crazy hot conditions, um, crazy wind conditions, crazy wind conditions um, very unforgiving place but a very wonderful spiritual place um yeah if you're interested in any of those things uh you're at the right place and it's nice to meet you and welcome to our channel um we'll be doing lots of things and i'm sure we'll be making lots of mistakes along the way that you guys can comment and help us on so let's be friends like <laughs> like and subscribe for Trittany adventures